Will we have reached a billion in 11 years? I think we'll be well on our way. So it's a privilege to, to be part of you know, something big. It's not just one company, it's a whole movement. And this movement will change banking and financial services forever. Well, the vision, uh, I would say, is still the same, right? We want to remove unnecessary fees from financial system and uh, make it fair and accessible for all people. I think we were always had really big goals with Monzo. The, the front page of our first investment deck said, we're building a powerful financial control center for a billion people around the world. We have a very simple view, which is, we want to create a good business, want to solve real problems. In the UK alone, we've, we've um, led to a job growth of about 12,000 people in the UK um, since we've launched. And for us, again, that's, that, that's what drives us. Starling came from my frustrations with the old world. The old world was all about cross-selling and upselling and occasionally mis-selling. It was not about what consumers wanted. It was about what businesses could sell to consumers. Then how we realize it, uh, we just you know build products around it, right? And then we make sure that each product that we build is uh, ten times cheaper compared to alternative providers and banks, and uh, ten times better. It's very important for us to create this uh, wow factor. Our view was very simplistically that we developed a platform um, to focus on, like I said, small, medium-sized uh, business lending, and we were going to prove it through in the UK with our own with our own business, our own lending business. I realised that with new technology and a new way of engaging with customers, you could actually build a very, very different bank, and that's the bank I set out to create. Yeah, well, we started back in 2015, so we're like a team of uh, I would say nine people. And then we became a team of uh, 20 people, then in the 50, then 100, then 500. Now we're almost in you know, one and a half thousand people across uh, 20 offices. In terms of sort of more realistic business plans, I think especially the customer growth has uh, has been at the very top end of what we dreamed was possible in the first in these early years. We're now adding a quarter of a million accounts every month here in the UK. We just announced a launch into the US, so I'm, I'm really, really excited about that. But, but in terms of the big ambition, I think we're, we've got some way to go yet. When we became Starling, we knew very well that we had a lot to prove. But it was possible. Amazon had changed shopping, but nobody had fundamentally changed banking. And that was the challenge. And that's what we've done. We have lent um, over three and a half billion pounds over that period. Current loans outstanding are just shy of three billion pounds. Those numbers are around four times what our original business plan was. So yeah, it was an amazing journey. I think you know, it's, it's, it's a privilege to, to be part of you know, something big. And you know, we, we all feel it. But yeah, it's, it's exciting. You know, sometimes it's a bit bumpy, right? But uh, you know, I feel good part without you know, having bad parts. It's not just one company. It's a whole movement, and this movement will change banking and financial services forever. So yes, we've exceeded expectations, but you know what that leads to? That just leads to higher expectations going forward. Will we have reached a billion in 11 years? I think we'll be well on our way. I think we'll definitely be in hundreds of millions of customers, whether we'll quite have hit a billion yet, I don't know. Wait and see, it'll be an exciting journey.